Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to enter some questions into SPSS. I'll be using these uh, questions as an example. Um, I classified them into different types of questions. We're using a blank SPSS file for that, which I have actually have available here. The data view is completely empty and to enter the questions we need to go into the variable view. The first thing I'll be doing is entering the names for each variable. The name should be short and uh, concise, so and um, cannot contain any spaces. So for the first one, what is your age? Age might be a good name. Uh, what is your name? Name might be a good name for the variable. And uh, gender for the third one. The fourth question, type 2b there's actually a small problem because there are multiple answers and SPSS then wants you to treat, treat each of these options as a variable in itself so basically converting this instead of one multiple answer question to one, two, three, four single answer questions do you watch Game of Thrones? yes or no do you watch Walking Dead? yes or no so to indicate that I'll use TV and then an underscore because I cannot use any spaces and then GOT TV Walking Dead WT and then TV underscore South Park and TV underscore other. The next one is what is your favorite brand? So brand and then again one with multiple answers Nike, Adidas, Puma and other so this is do you like something and then it's Nike like and then Adidas and like and Puma and like and other now notice that Question 3a and 3b are similar in setup as 2a and 2b, but they're different with the specify. The specify bit needs to be a variable again by itself. So for the brand, I need to do that above the 9. So I right click on this 9 here and then insert variable. So I can actually add brand underscore specify, so specific, and then also for like and specific. Note that you need to have these separately because people can check for example other and then leave this blank or the other way around. And the last one is actually a collection of questions. I enjoy this book so oh, I enjoy uh, it's clear it's nice and it's well, actually, layout might be more appropriate, and step. Okay. The next thing to actually add is the label. Now, in the label, you can actually use spaces. So here, you can put a longer description explaining what these nicknames you gave them actually mean. So that if somebody else uses the file, or you use the file a few years later, you still remember what WD stands for stood for. You can either simply use a description or sometimes people simply copy the entire question. You can actually copy and then paste. That's also option within SPSS. Many students are often surprised that you can actually copy paste but yeah it's an option and you can heavily use it. Control C and saves quite some time. Which TV shows do you watch? And here you should actually enter again the names all the way in the end. So, but I'll do that later. With the brand, what is your favorite brand? That's this one and that one. Uh, which brands do you like? Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. And I enjoyed the book book is clear hopefully this video is clear the layout and the style is good 
to complete this you should be adding here for example Game of Thrones of Thrones uh, Walking Dead etc. In part 2 when I also explain what all the other issues here mean which we still need to set up um, I will have done this I'm not gonna waste your time looking at me typing last but not least in the data view you'll notice that all the names now appear as the column titles and if you move your mouse over one of the column titles name then you actually see what you typed in under the label don't click on it just when you hold your mouse over it it should show up 